everybody welcome back to my other popcorn my name is stephanie if you guys are new how about clicking that subscribe button so i need this quarantine to be over because my nail has officially fallen out and you know when one goes down the rest of the troop likes to follow through so i desperately need to go see my nail lady we are here to talk about the sequel to trolls i don't have a poster for the new one i don't know if they would have given them out during the screening but i do have the first one so we're here to talk about trolls world tour a world full of other trolls how different can they be yeah. i'm gonna unite the six strings by the end of my world tour i'm gonna turn all the trolls into rock zombies yeah. rock and roll came out on friday april the 10th and it's an hour and 35 minutes long now we do welcome back anna kendrick and justin timberlake a bunch of new voices which includes sam rockwell rachel bloom uh kelly clarkson uh mary j blige um jamie dorian is that, am i saying his name right which his i think is so funny that they put him as like the jazz a uh, player like very smooth talking seductive because you know what that really just gave me a lot of like Fifty Shade by him, so I thought that was kind of funny that, that they did that. I feel like that was a little bit of um, entertainment for the mamas who are uh, going to be watching this uh, movie. So I'm going to be honest, with the first one, I went in not really expecting much. I really didn't think I was going to like it, and I was very, very, very surprised. I really, really enjoyed of the first part. Uh, now, coming into the sequel, I went in opposite very much anticipating this movie i was very looking forward to it and literally when i got home on friday i rented it we watched it as a family i personally was very let down i did not like it i don't really see myself re-watching it i will re-watch this movie i am not or we as an adult are not the intended audience for this children of course the kids they're going to love this movie i mean it has its things like visually it's it's beautiful there's so many colors of course uh the music um as always is great they have really good music and i really love how we jump to do different genres of music in this uh particular part in uh part one it was just pop music Basically, we didn't know that there was other troll cities around which in um which include pop rock uh funk country classical and what was the si oh techno techno was the last one we really didn't spend much time in each i guess musical cities what i'm gonna call it and a little bit more time in a rock which is who the villain of the story is which is um voiced by rachel bloom she's a girl from my crazy ex-girlfriend if you guys have not seen that show i full on recommend it well if you like musicals a little bit raunchy at times with the song that they talk about but it's so funny you guys i full on recommend that show i know it is on netflix i think it's already finished i still haven't seen the final season oh my god i just thought about that anyway goes let's go back over here uh, it just she just didn't get it for me she really did it i was very disappointed possibly one of my least favorite villains to be honest with you i feel like they could have done so much more it really wasn't a good storyline there if this was in theaters i would not recommend for you guys to go check it out but since it is available for you to rent if i say rent it for them um they get to see it on repeat for two days while they're watching it you know what you go take that nice dessert bubble bath get your wine have some me time go cry in the corner because you know you're tired of quarantine life and like just not getting a break from all the screaming <laughs> you know if you want to read a book or if you want to have like a little mini like at home spa day you'll have that hour and a half of peace because i really don't recommend for the parents to see this movie it's not a horrible movie like i said it is really beautiful to look at it has really amazing colors and the songs that are um in this movie of course you know they kill it with the music don't stop I got this feeling. Oh, I got this feeling. Da, da, da. Oh, before I... Inside my bones. I'm ready for you to tell me the rest of it. Oh, it goes electrifying when I, when I turn it on. It goes electrifying. Do, 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 do. I don't know. I'm trying to hear my sister, but let me not keep singing before YouTube demonetizes me. <laughs> I'm actually going to rate it a kids pack. But if you've seen a Trolls World Tour, let me know down below what you guys thought about it. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Do you prefer the first part or do you prefer the second part? Let me know down below. Uh, but before you guys click on this video, don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when i post something new and until everything clears out i'll be seeing you guys at concessions bye